Hello everyone and welcome back to this new video. In this video we will learn to apply different kind of transitions and particularly in this video we will learn fade transitions. In previous video you have applied predefined transitions but in these series of videos we will learn how to create those transitions from scratch. So for that we have imported all the files which we require. We only require these three video files and then we will apply transitions to connect all these files. The first thing which we need to do is to create a sequence. For that click on file and then click on new sequence. Then we go to settings panel and we select our desired setting and we check the frame rate and then click on ok. Now as you can see our timeline is active and also our program sequence panel is active. Now drag and drop the required videos into timeline. As you can see we have these two video files and we want to connect them using a transition. So for creating our own transition we need to overlap these two video files. So for doing that I will move one video file to another channel. Now we have kept our video files on top of one another. Now click on the top video file and go to effects control panel. Since we have to apply since we are planning to apply a fade transition, go to the time frame where second video starts and apply our opacity keyframe. Keep it at 100 then go to the end of first video and change the opacity value to 0. So now we have animated our opacity parameter so that it looks like a transition. But since you can see the duration of a transition is very short, we need a uh, stretch in our transition so for that we need to reverse all these things again so we delete these previous keyframes and this time we are overlapping a bigger section of these two videos so okay so to get a bigger time for transition Now as you can see I have overlapped a longer duration and we will repeat the same steps we will go to the start of second video select first video and apply a full opacity keyframe and keep it value 200 
then we will go to the end of first video and change the opacity parameter to 0 now you can see we have successfully applied our fade transition and this transition is completely created by ourselves we are not using any preset or any pre-built transition we have created this transition only using the properties given in Premiere Pro this was all for this video thanks for watching